Is this video for sailing and entertainment purposes only? You're dang skippy it is. Be off, Frank. That was a lie. Isn't this a surprise? Nurse, clear my schedule. No Ottawa girls wanting to hit me up. What advice would you give Amber's future girlfriend? Simple. Just don't go there. <laughs> Bland chili confirmed. <laughs> Tea. Nurse, clear my schedule. This is Karina Kaboom. Hey. What's wrong with Karina Kaboom? She's a nice lady. Why are you walking away so fast? You're walking in uniform. Monsters, 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 monsters. I bet you're a lot of fun at parties. Hello, everybody. In today's video, we are taking a look at Amberlynn Reed just embarrassing herself on social media with her TikToks, with her Instagram posts. It's a wonderful time to be alive, girls. It's an embarrassing time to be alive. I feel like a girl of 2021 again. Amberlynn making some very serious claims that she somebody else's. Well, I don't know, but she's making a whole lot of posts about your girlfriend wants to be my girlfriend. You understand what I'm trying to say here? And I'm just like, Anne Boleyn. All right, so we're going to get into all the drama. We're also going to talk about Amberlyn and Twinkie, her dog, The Final Frontier. If you could not tell already from this ridiculous intro, we're going to get into all the drama. Or my name isn't Bob, Wilbur, Kermit, Kaboom. None of those are my names. As always, with all of my videos, everything I'm saying is just for entertainment purposes only and is not meant to be taken seriously whatsoever. Please don't take anything I say seriously. I'm just sharing my own opinions, not facts. I'm publicly accessible information made public by public figures. First, I would urge you to please not go to these people's channels. Please do not go and leave these people any mean spirited, negative, discouraging, disparaging comments, entertainment purposes only. All right, so here is what Anne Boleyn is posting on her TikTok and Instagram that is very suspicious. As you know, she has extensively said she has a new girlfriend. This is a blatant lie. I have many videos on this. Her timeline of her meeting a person in September and talking to them for seven months does not meet up with everything else she told us. Uh, please remember that she told us that she was ghosted in November, that she was talking to three separate people in December, that she was still texting wifey in November and being sad about her, and yet she was seeing somebody since September. Absolutely not. As I've said before, this will be important in a minute. She can't back up her timeline. She never thought she had to because she never thought Beck would get a girlfriend, and she doesn't want to be seen as the single one now that Beck has a girlfriend and Destiny is married. Now, look at this interesting development. She posts a TikTok, which basically she lip syncs, your girlfriend wants to be my girlfriend and she's calling me and all this other stuff. Why is no one loyal in these YouTube streets? You're bling, bling. Then she posted uh, an amazing poem that she wrote. I don't know if you know, but Amberlynn Reed is a poet laureate. Ask her how she's doing. And uh, she let us know what the poetry is. And uh, without further ado, Kermit Kaboom over here. That's not my name. Can you read us the poem you wrote? Quote, Honey on her collarbone, tell me why you have honey on your lips. I know you're taking gulps of her while only taking me in sips. It just keeps getting funnier every time I say it. It's only fair. Oh, my God. Anne Boleyn, there's something you could do for that, but I don't think you're interested. Whatever. Anyways, uh, that was a beautiful poem. I would personally like a moment of silence and then clapping for Poet Laureate Anne Boleyn Reed. Are you uh, enjoying your experience? Amber, instead of posting this for free, honey, definitely publish your poetry. I'm sure Kermit will buy it. Um, here's the thing. Besides, the, you know, arguing the merit if this is poetry or not or how good it is, which I will not be doing here because I simply don't care. This poem, if we can call it that, is about Amber being upset that some other girl likes some other girl better and is dating some other girl while still talking to Anne Boleyn. That, coupled with your girlfriend wants to be my girlfriend, calling me and all this other stuff, TikTok, it's obvious that what Amber is saying in her poem that she wrote and in her TikTok that no one asked her to do, that she chose to post, is that 
the person that she's seeing is seeing someone else, which makes a lot of sense since Anne Boleyn constantly is not monogamous emotionally. She, when she was with Casey, she was then with Crystal while with Casey, then while with Casey with Destiny, and so on. She moved on from Beck very fast. The point is, Amberlynn is never monogamous. And even though she continues to say that she is monogamous, the proof is from her own social media that she hasn't been. She's claiming she was dating this person. Okay? Uh, since September. They were talking since September. They took it very slow, yet you were talking to all these other people. Now you say, you know, you're interested in her more than me. Your girlfriend wants to be my girlfriend. There's two women involved. It's obvious. Amber Lynn is not in a relationship. Why would she be writing things and posting things that are not about being in a relationship, but instead trying to insinuate that there's two women involved and that Amber's talking to somebody who is talking to somebody else or has a girlfriend. Amber, the worst possible thing that you could ever do is be the other woman in someone's head because not, you know, physically in real life. But just in general, the worst that you could possibly do for yourself, girly pop, is be somebody's girly pop when they already have a girly pop. Okay, this is a job for FBI Frank and Double O Kermit. And by the way, before somebody writes this in the comments, because I know this is coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She just made a TikTok with a song. It doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. When you're perpetually 13, and I don't even know if teenagers do this anymore. Yes, it does mean something. She's not going to do anything without, like, a reason. So the person that she's seeing, and by the way, Anne Boleyn, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, this is just a poem I wrote 17 years ago. This is just a poem. It has, it's not about my current partner. It's about somebody else. Amber, none of this manipulation, rudimentary manipulation 101 works on me. It don't work on me. It's obvious she's thinking about this, and that's why she's talking about this, okay? And here we have the final frontier. Amber answered a question on Instagram. Are you looking for a new love or just taking a break from the dating scene? I already have someone. Look, I can only tell you my feelings on this. I can only give you my opinion, which is all I do on my channel. If she had a girlfriend, she would not call the girlfriend someone. Okay? When you've met the love of your life, when you've met a fantastic new person, uh, if this person is amazing, amazing, you say, oh my God, you know, I have a wonderful new girlfriend, she's the best, or I've been talking to somebody since September, Amberlynn, right? You're saying that you've been talking to her and seeing her since September, taking it slow, but seeing her since September. The point is you would not say, oh, I have someone. Yeah, I have this like, uh, you know, I have a pair of jeans. I have someone. Oh, she's treating it so casually because the person is not her partner. You understand? It's not really your partner, Amberlynn. And by the way, we all know the way that she acts when she has a girlfriend. She stops doing her makeup. She stops washing her hair. She really puts her hair up and doesn't really care. The reason that she's still doing thirst traps on Instagram, on TikTok, the reason that she's you have not seen her without her makeup on, you have not seen her. Well, I mean, there's like little shots in, here and there, but you know what I mean. All of her videos, her hair is done, her makeup is done. She's putting in all this effort into her appearance because she's still single. If she was in a relationship with this woman and had met this woman, she's never met this woman. It's pointless. She'll never admit that she's never met this woman. If she had a girlfriend, she would not be on social media, on TikTok and on Instagram, still acting like she's looking for someone. The reason why she's still doing these thirst traps, the reason why she is putting in so much effort into her appearance, the reason for all of this stuff is happening is she's looking for a girlfriend. See, here's what's going on. She knows that she's not really in a relationship. She knows that they're just talking. This girl has another girlfriend, as she keeps telling you, right? Whatever the case may be. She knows they're not in a serious relationship. So she still has to get people to want her. She still has to be desirable. That's why she's doing these thirst traps on social media. I am telling you right now, I'm 100 on this. She would not be acting like she's single on social media, 
if she had someone. It's that simple. It's that easy. Okay. Sometimes the simplest answer is true for her to call her new love of her life, this really important person in her life. Oh, I have someone. You don't have her as a partner. You're talking numerous times, you know, somebody that you're seeing having another person in their life. Of course they do. Look at how many people you were talking to throughout this whole time. And you expect me to believe with you being ghosted, talking to wifey, crying over wifey, speaking to three people, that this woman is monogamous with you, Anne Boleyn. No matter how much you lie, I'm just trying to tell you, your audience knows your patterns. She's acting single on social media because she still is. By the way, here's what's gonna happen. She's going to come onto YouTube or social media and say, my girlfriend doesn't have another girlfriend. They were just songs that I sang. They were just poems that I wrote. It has nothing to do with me. We're in a monogamous relationship. Anne Boleyn, way ahead of you. No, you would not be doing this if it did not relate to your life. Get 700 Kermits, Amber. Okay, so these two TikToks are beyond showing off. I love it when Anne Boleyn is obsessed with herself so the first one says did you really become popular on youtube for trolling and eating on camera yeah i did okay well you became popular on youtube because in the beginning you were doing mukbangs during a time when eating on camera was very popular on youtube but um that's not the main reason that's what made people click your videos i'm not delighted by that monsters 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 <laughs> <laughs> monsters are coming in and then when they got to know you they saw how chaotic outrageous your life was and how mean-spirited you were how much you lied and that brings us current the t is there's always something going on in the background behind the scenes her videos may seem mundane but there's way more than that she's always doing something bad in the background she's always up to no good in the background, always doing something bad to people in the background. Sometimes it's to reaction channels, but a lot of the time it's to people in her personal life. You monetized mistreating all your girlfriends. You filmed it, edited, and uploaded an iMovie. So that's why you became popular on YouTube. I also wanted to say that uh, the only person that you were trolling is yourself. Uh, she likes to talk about how she used to troll, but first of all, let me just say this. My personal opinion is that she only started trolling way later. I'm going to explain to you why I believe she, but I'm 100 on this. It's my opinion, but I'm 100 on this. Um, why she likes to say that she used to troll. So she would do whatever she wanted to do on YouTube because, you know, when you don't have an audience, it's this weird thing. When you don't really have a big audience, you kind of think no one is watching you. So... What happens in those situations is you just do whatever you want. She tr she not only treated people very badly, but she, because that's who, you know, she is, but she would just show her life as it was. Like if she wanted to grab, a, you know, whatever and do this, whatever with that, if she wanted to not wash a bowl or something or whatever it is that she was doing that made her so popular or walk down the stairs the way that she wanted to, Whatever it was, okay, she was not trolling because at that time, there is no real way that she would understand or know about trolling, okay? <clears throat> trolling is a fine art. I don't advise anyone to do it because you're going to definitely not have a lot of people even understand or know all the time that you are trolling. Like, there's other YouTubers that trolled very well, and at the time, like, when I you know, used to watch them. At the time, I just thought that they were being for real. Uh, trolling is something where you kind of make the audience believe what you're saying and elicit a negative reaction in order to make money on YouTube, pretty much. And as far as YouTube is concerned, that's what trolling is. It's getting people to believe something that isn't true and, you know, something outrageous. Immoral. Yep. And Amber Lynn got people to believe it because it was true. The point is, this is my point about her trolling. In the beginning, she didn't know how to troll. She was just being herself. And that behavior was so outrageous and bad that she got so much 
like negativity for it as a response she started lying and saying it was trolling like one video comes to mind where she is trolling where she says she wants to marry orange chicken you know that she's joking around that she's trolling you that one was okay because it was obvious but the majority of her behavior was just her being her i'm about to make a lot of people mad with my life quirky girly pop and then she got a bad reaction out of it and instead of admitting that this is who you are she was like oh my god i'm trolling oh my god don't say anything negative about amberlynn trolling oh my god anyways amber you're only trolling yourself then she has this one tiktok that got three hundred thousand views so she thinks she's the queen of uh tiktok girly pops people out here getting millions uh, she pinned it, so that's exciting. Amber's, like, touching something on her stove or whatever. How did you create a whole community who is obsessed with everything you do? Don't ask me how I did it. It was hard. <laughs> Wonderful. She used a popular sound. Wonderful. I love the pigtails. Uh, and her hair. I love the way she's doing her hair now. Very beautiful. Okay. So, what do we think about all the girlies and everybody? Just... Her entire audience being obsessed with her. Woo! Okay, so her entire, the majority, like most of her comment section on TikTok is people who love her and have no idea who she is and they say that they are obsessed with her. First of all, I personally feel it's incredibly narcissistic to go around um, on the internet and say that everyone is obsessed with me. And I know that people are, like, so obsessed with me. And everyone is obsessed with me. Like, I just feel that's, like, come on. And then you say that you're an empath. And then you say that you're, like... They're meaningless to us. Not full of yourself. But, okay, Amber, here's the answer. Most people are not obsessed with you. I would say the people that watch the Amberverse and the girl world are people that are... I would say that they are interested in the tea and the drama. They're interested in the gossip and they find it entertaining. Are there people that are like obsessed with you? Sure. I'm sure there's a fraction of them that are. And the people in her comment section on TikTok are saying how much they love her and how obsessed they are. And let them be. That's only positive for the Amberverse. That's only positive for the girl world. The more interested people are in these two people the more entertainment that it causes and people want to see this type of stuff. Fine, Amberlynn, you can have it your way. Everyone is obsessed with you. Are you happy in life? Who? You haven't figured any of this stuff out because you're obsessed with obsessing over people that are obsessing over you. Think about that. I don't mind that people are obsessed with her. I have to tell you something. I don't care. Uh, the majority of TikTok, she's, you know, duped them. They have no idea who she really is. The reason that the majority of her comments are positive uh, on her TikTok is because uh, they know her as a quirky girl that asked for an apple and a veggie sandwich and got like the wrong food. And they just think that, you know, people may say things about her for the wrong reasons. People are talking about her character on YouTube and on Instagram. That's why on Instagram, she usually disabled her comments. She's not the quirky girl you think she is on TikTok. But I'm not mad at all the people that love Amberlynn. Good for you guys. Continue to watch Amberlynn and obsess over her. Who cares? It's really about her reaction. That's what matters. For you to make such a self-centered TikTok saying, oh my God, the community's obsessed with everything I do. Welcome back. It's not really called an obsession for most people. It's fascination with bad behavior. And you know, uh, rinse, lather, delusion, Amberlynn. You continue to obsess over the people obsessing over you. You are the one that's on Reddit on Kiwi Farms and all the reaction channels, comments on your comments, reading everything about you, and then asking yourself your own questions on Instagram. So I don't mind it. I think it's great. Look at me. Okay, I wanted to briefly talk about Twinkie. So Amber did offer an update on her dog who had an abscess in her mouth that supposedly the abscess is gone. She doesn't need anything. She's doing wonderful. Okay. Uh, she then said, well, she answered the question that I raised in my video, does Twinkie have a vet? She said she did, but her vet refused to see her by emergency, even though Twinkie supposedly has this vet and she had to go to the emergency vet. And then Amber said that the emergency vet was a subscriber and saw Amber shedding a tear and being scared for Twinkie. I've been waiting all week to use it. <laughs> Who? And said that she loves her. Yeah, and I'm a frog. I'm a Kermit. Look, don't get me wrong. I am very thankful that Twinkie's doing okay. Amberlynn has a very long-standing history of ignoring her pets. Animal control has been called on her many times. I have lots of videos on that. I'm not going to go into this right now. 
I'm going to put it to you like this. First of all, I think it is a bad idea for you to say that this like emergency vet was like your subscriber because I, while I'm not going to say how here, it, there's actually, if you're telling the truth, it's bad. If you're not telling the truth, it's also bad because there's a very easy way to find out who the subscriber is. There's a very easy way to find out exactly what emergency vet you went to. And you should have not said that this vet was a subscriber. You shouldn't have done that because now you've opened up all the emergency vets in your area to, you know, really having people bother them. That's number one. But number two, look, this is the George Glass syndrome. This is the, my girlfriend doesn't even go to the school, but she's real. Of course she was your subscriber. Of course she loved you. Let me see if I can get this straight. Lived in Kentucky, she never bumped into as many, as many, as many subscribers as she does now. So when she used to live in the other state, when Anne Boleyn used to live in this other state that she used to live in, she barely met any subscribers. But now she's meeting subscribers left and right. They're in the bathroom. They're in the church. They're in the vet office they're, they're like hiding behind you know like <laughs> her car her mom's car like double o kermit like james bond is on the case Anne Boleyn, i don't believe you that the vet was your subscriber and loved you and i think you're only saying that the vet saw you crying for twinkie because you want to project this idea of who you're not Anne Boleyn, i think you don't care about your pets i i think they're there to entertain you and everything about other people in your q a's like somebody asked you a question about your crushes or your girlfriend the answer is about you somebody asked you about how twinkie is doing the answer is you know how you were doing and how you were feeling about twinkie so empath lynn the point is this I don't believe that the vet was a subscriber because when she lived in other states, she barely met subscribers once in a while. Now, everybody loves her. Everybody's a subscriber and she has a million girlfriends. Rinse, lather, do Lulu. I am grateful that Twinkie is doing well. I feel that Twinkie should have went with Beck. I think that you do not take care of your animals properly. I personally also do not believe that Twinkie has a vet. Amberlynn has explained that she herself doesn't even have a primary care physician. I don't think the animals have a vet. And I know that people are going to fight me in the comments. By all means, enjoy yourselves out there. I think that if your pet has a vet and like your pet's mouth is swollen, my opinion is that your vet should have seen your animal if this is your animal's doctor by emergency. And the reality is, is I think she's lying. And I think that she doesn't have a vet for the pets. Like she doesn't have a PCP primary care physician or a general practitioner for herself. I also know that people will say in the comments that their vet uh, does not see their animals by emergency either that's fine people constantly compare themselves to Anne Boleyn um that's cool that's great I still don't believe it Anne Boleyn Reed she is a public figure and she has a very very long-standing history of lying she just admitted to lying for two plus years about her girlfriend her ex-wifey she just admitted to lying about her doctor I think she's lying I think she didn't have a vet hey let's move on to foodie beauty I briefly wanted to talk about this situation foodie beauty posted a video called I spent a day in the hospital she has been literally taking advantage of Canadian free health care. Uh, here is a comment on her new video. Came back to Canada to take advantage of that free health care, huh? 75 likes and Foodie Beauty hearted that comment and said, heck yes. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Honestly, it's, it's really be beyond being wrong. Like everyone knows that she's not really like what you would consider a citizen of Canada anymore. She spends the majority of her life in Kuwait. And what you truly do deserve is to have your Canadian healthcare taken away from you. And that's why, like I told you, she keeps running back to Canada that she so that she doesn't lose her healthcare. It's really wrong to just do this, like whatever. She goes to some other place in the United States and she goes to a buffet and then she gets food poisoning or norovirus and runs back to Canada to the emergency room. Rinse, lather, Delulu. And she basically only told you this, not for content, but here is why. You remember when I talked to you about Anne Boleyn doing terrible things and then she immediately has a medical emergency or a soul crushing event in her life. And that is something that she does, in my opinion, Anne Boleyn, to manipulate her audience to start paying attention to some other dramatic event in her life than to what 
uh, you know, she was doing wrong. That's what Foodie Beauty is doing. Right before this happened, before her meltdown, her deleted meltdown, she asked for money. People donated for her apartment in Canada. And after people donated, she decided to run back to Kuwait. And she said that she would give people back their money if they contacted her. But all her comments are disabled on that video and in general. And how would people contact her? Okay, so that is what we call a scam. Obviously, without a shadow of a doubt, in my mind, Foodie Beauty scammed her followers out of money. And you really shouldn't be able to say, I need money, please donate to me, get a job, Chantal, to, you know, get an apartment in Canada and then say, never mind, I'm running back to Kuwait. Okay, that's, there's no meeting of the minds in that type of contract and people should be getting their money back from you. Anyways, the reason that I mentioned Amber Lynn is so Foodie Beauty just scammed her audience out of a bunch of money and now she wants you to feel bad for her because she has norovirus and she's taking advantage of the free Canadian health care and she's still going to Kuwait, she said, but right now she's in Canada. She wants to go to all her medical appointments to again freeload off of the Canadian health care and she's telling you that she's very ill and in the emergency room and posting pictures in the emergency room so that you feel bad for her and to manipulate you, in my opinion, into thinking that, you know, hey, forget that I took all your money. I want you to now shift the audience's attention to some medical emergency. Where have we seen our girls do this? Amberlynn does this all the time. She recently did this with Twinkie. So the bottom line in the situation, while I obviously hope that everyone feels better and I wish everyone all the best, Chantal, you are very transparent with what you're doing. Why would you need to pretty much be a burden on the healthcare system when you live in Kuwait. Uh -huh. Rinse, lather, delulu. Yeah, this is a very transparent, obvious, palpable manipulation attempt to try to, in my opinion, manipulate the audience to stop paying attention to the fact that she scammed them and, you know, oh, pay attention to me feeling sick. Rinse, lather, delulu. Thank you all so very much for watching today. I definitely appreciate your time and effort that it took to watch this video. Please let me know your thoughts, comments, Kermit, and the dislikes down below. What do you think about this video? Let me know. If you enjoyed today's video, go check out this other video that should be popping up somewhere here. Go and watch it. If you like it, leave it a like. If you don't like it, leave it a dislike. Make your voice heard. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time. Bye. Reed. Are you friends with Amberlynn Reed? You're friends with her?